Hello. All right, we have seven minutes. So here we go. Uh, mamas, we're busy. And the Lord's been putting on my heart repeatedly to get out here. And I have been disobedient over and over again. So no longer. He told me seven minutes. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to put seven minutes on the clock. Here we go. All right. In Root Bible, we are talking about handling what God has given us with care. What does that mean in our homes as we are in a society where moms are comparing themselves amongst themselves, where we're so busy between uh, our phones and activities and our children and now homeschooling because a lot of the schools we can't trust and running our homes and now homesteading. You know, when, when homesteading was happening and when we were researching canning and bringing things like that back in our life, uh, they didn't also have constant media distractions. They also didn't have runs to soccer and runs to sports of any kind or, you know, what have you. So we cannot continue to believe the lie that we keep filling our plates with more will bring better results. This is what our seven minutes is about today is how we're handling what God has for us to do with care. That means when God reveals something to us that we are to do, that doesn't mean he's asking us to add it to what we're already doing. We need to then go to him and say, are there other things I'm supposed to be laying down? Are there other things I'm supposed to be limiting? Are there other things that I need to put a handle on that I've not been putting a handle on up till now? Perhaps it's something like this. I see a lot of moms that are homeschoolers on this a lot. Um, it draws us in. Maybe we're doing good things, but it's when you have a computer in your pocket and you can send a quick email and set a quick timer and look for that recipe for later. It seems there's always opportunity to never set this down. And we have got to understand that if we continue to not set this down, it will limit us doing what it is that God is asking us to do. Maybe that is homesteading, canning, planting, growing your own food, getting chickens. Maybe it's homeschooling. Maybe it's spending more time with your kids in homeschooling. Maybe it's more time in your word. I'm throwing things out there, but the Lord is whispering things to you by his spirit that he has for you to do to prepare for what is ahead that you might be missing because you're not handling this with care. And again, that doesn't mean you're Facebooking. That doesn't mean you're Instagramming, but we all know you are. Mm. Uh, it might mean that you're sending the emails, that you're searching for recipes, that you're finding out where the next co-op is, that you have to register your kiddo in. I get it. We're busy. There's a lot going on. But sometimes we're busy doing things that we don't necessarily have to do, that we can get answers to if we just slow down and take time to ask the Father what the plan of action is in that area rather than searching it out, Googling it, messaging our friends, where is it? What's in my area, right? Doesn't mean you don't find good things and things that you really enjoy, but maybe it's not what he has for you and your family right now. And so how do we handle the things that God has for us with care? We be mindful with handling the things of this world with care. And how do we handle things of this world with care? We handle things of this world with care by handling them with the Holy Spirit's guidance and with the word being the meditation that we are set on, his purposes, his plans. We can't live like the world and claim we live apart from the world. We cannot find answers and solutions the same way that the world does and claim that we live a different life than the rest of the world. We can't tell our kids to live different than the rest of the world while we are finding solutions to our problems exactly how the rest of the world is or spending our time exactly how the rest of the world is. So, mamas, take a moment. You've got three more minutes. Father, what are you asking me to do today for my family? Holy Spirit, can you help me limit using my phone and lead me into understanding in areas where I might be using it as an outlet? Can you lead me to a verse to meditate on today that it may be the meditation of my heart and not the things on my phone? or the concerns of my heart, or the preparations of the future, 
that I may be present for today. These are prayers that we can be kept so busy with life that we never pray. That we never open up, slow down, and listen to the one that was sent to help us do this life differently than everyone else. Our kids are looking at us. You know, we're looking at our kids. Do it differently. Think differently. Act differently. Respond differently. And yet, they see us responding like the rest of the world. Not stopping. Not asking the Holy Spirit. Not seeking out the Word. Not being quiet enough to hear His voice and glean from His leading and guidance. This is how we change the world. This is how we start by changing our own hearts and how we're reacting, what we're handling well, what we're doing, how we're doing it, when we're doing it, and who's leading and guiding us. Is it our carnal nature? Is it our decisions that we're searching out on our own? Or is it the Holy Spirit, the helper, who has been sent to lead us into truth, understanding, to guide us in wisdom and knowledge in everything that we need? Let's do this. Thank you for tuning in. Check out rootbible.com where you can join live interactive classes uh, for free. And we'll see you again tomorrow.